What is up you guys? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and this vlog is in collaboration with Raven's Brew Coffee. I wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about the brand, what they stand for, how they make their coffee and why I love it so much. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys and then I figured we could try to make some shots of espresso and taste and compare the different coffees that they send me so that if you have never tried their coffees before you can maybe find one that works for you if you want something very bold and dark if you want a lighter roast so yeah let's dive right in okay so here's the box as you can see they sent me a beautiful card with their coffee logos on it and on the back it talks about the brand and the artist so i'm going to read this to you really quick it says, The Company and the Art of Coffee. Raven's Brew Coffee is a small family-owned company dedicated to sourcing the world's best coffee. Each batch of coffee is carefully roasted, resulting in distinct and superior flavor development, a notably clean taste, and an intense, sweet, perfumey fragrance. We started roasting coffee in Ketchikan, Alaska in a garage in 1992, and now have roasteries in Alaska and Washington. Our green coffee buying strategy focuses mainly on heirloom varieties grown in shade forest conditions and without the use of agrochemicals. We love that. We strive to offer only coffees that will be an enlightening experience for the customer and fair and just for the small producers of our unique coffees. We roast certified organic as well as conventional specialty coffees. It says our main label art was created by the world famous Alaskan artist Ray Troll. Ray's designs adorn our coffee packaging as well as t-shirts, mugs, posters, and postcards. You can find them on Facebook at Ravens Brew Coffee, Instagram at Ravens Brew Coffee, and their website I will link down below in the description box so you can really look into um, how they all started their coffee, where you can find them, all the different coffees that they sell. They sell individual packs and sets for uh, anybody in your family that loves coffee. You can buy them packs of three or whatever. So they also have merch, t-shirts, mugs, all of that good stuff. So you can go check out their website at ravensbrewcoffee.com. And I will leave that in the description box below again for your convenience. So let's get into it and see what they sent me. First off, they sent me the Grin and Barrett Bruin Blend Full City Roast. It's a 12 ounce bag. It says a decadently luxurious, heavenly syrupy body in a laid back orchestration of pleasant, earthy, herbal, and warm spice flavor notes creates a pool of deep ponderance for your palate. I love this. And one thing I love about their brand, one of the many things that I love about their brand is the design. Every single blend that they have has a different image um, and a different story. And they have little puns that go with it. So I think that's really fun. It says, at dawn, the grizz is riz, and she means biz. Ursus Arabica tromps out of the rainforest behind the Raven's Brew Coffee Roastery at sunrise and knocks down the door for this coffee. Growls Ursus and her husky irresistible do not attempt to resist voice. Brew and blend. It roars with flavor, but it don't bite. So I love this. The imagery behind it is so fun. Next up is the Raven's Brew Coffee Double Dead Dark Roast Coffee. Again, I love the art behind it. This is how I wanna feel after I take a sip. It says, oh, it has like a little poem in the back. It says, do double dead when you wake up mostly dead, can't find your head, seek a blast of light, prep for opening night, need to double your speed and rise from the ashes like fireweed. Raven's Brew Coffee Inc. Freshly Roasted in Ketchikan, Alaska. Beautiful. How cool. See that? And then on the other side, it has a little warning. It says, contains a copious quantity of caffeine, not for the faint of heart. This high speed blend will supercharge your daily supercharge. Keep away from small children and pets. Use responsibly. I love this. There's the phone number and their hashtag. Very cool. And lastly, the Wicked Wolf Coffee. Again, I love the art. I love how beautiful it is and vibrant. It definitely stands out on the shelf at the store. This one has a little story. You can see the drawings, little red riding hood with the wolves. Super cute and intentional. And I love how much detail they put into not only the coffee, but 
the label, the descriptions, the poems, all of that. It's just, it really shows how much the company cares about their brand. It says, got big eyes, big ears, big teeth. Are you cross-dressing? No one will notice when you serve this blend of specifically selected coffees of exotic origins. Intense, vibrant flavor in a balanced cup with a superb finish. Superlative after meal coffee with awesome applications as accompaniment to chocolate desserts. Dark roast. So I think what they're saying is this tastes really good with like a chocolate cake, maybe some nice sweets at the end. I'm expecting this to be a little bitter because if they're recommending it with chocolate, you have to assume wow. that the bitterness of this is gonna balance out with the sweetness of whatever you eat. Thank you again to Raven's Brew for sending these three beautiful coffees. And now I think it's time to maybe open these up, smell them and uh, make some coffee and then we can taste and discuss. These are the three vessels I'm gonna be pouring my coffee into and then that way we can like taste all of them together. So I think I'm gonna start with this one first, I'll go one by one. I'll line them all up and then we'll taste them all together. First up is the Grin and Barrett Brew and Blend. I can't get over how beautiful this packaging is. Okay. Okay, Ooh. next up we will open up the Wicked Wolf Coffee. Perfect. Look at that gorgeous color. Beautiful. And last but not least, we are going to try the Double Dead. I have a feeling this one's gonna be my favorite. Perfect. 
Alrighty, here I have the coffees lined up with the shots that I just made so that I know exactly what it is that I'm taking. And now it's time for the taste test. Alrighty, guys. So I have all the espresso shots here ready to go and brewed aligned with the bags so that I know exactly what I'm drinking. I am going to be doing it black. No milk, no sugar, because I want to give you guys an accurate description of the coffee flavor notes. Um, and if I think it's good or not without any additives. So this is the double dead. Cheers to you guys. Really good, really smooth, really sweet. It honestly tastes like it already has oat milk in it. It's very light, but at the very end, it has a nutty aftertaste, which I think is delicious because I don't want a really bitter coffee first thing in the morning. Um, so this is really good. I could actually see myself brewing a pot of this and just pouring it over ice and drinking that for the day as is no milk or sugar, which is very rare for me because I feel like with the strong coffee that I like, I always have to add a little milk or sugar to make it drinkable, but this double dead is really, really good. Next, we're gonna do the Grin and Barrett. This is the Bruin blend, the decadently luxurious, heavenly syrupy body and laid back orchestration of pleasant, earthy, herbal, and warm spice. So let's see if that's accurate. Cheers. This one's very, very mild. It's still really good, but it's, I see what it means when it says syrupy body and a laid back earthy, spicy tone. Um, at the very end, you get an aftertaste of like herbs, not bitter again, but it's just very herbaceous and very sweet. I get the syrupy note. Yeah, it's, it's I get hints of like maple syrup and rosemary. And last but not least, we're going to do the Wicked Wolf Coffee. This is intense, a vibrant flavor in a balanced cup with a superb finish. Let's see if that's accurate. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I see. Really good, probably the, the most bitter aftertaste of all three of them. Very subtle woody flavor, not too sweet, intense, smoky almost. That's delicious. But for sure, I would have to say that the Double Dead is my favorite. This is the easiest to drink. This is the most balanced in terms of flavor notes and acidity and boldness. So I would definitely check this out. Next up, I would say the Grin and Barrett. I would give this like four out of five and this one I would say a four out of five as well so these were all delicious no complaints the only thing I would say is I I wish that they could have made it a little easier to open up maybe with a little perforation here that you just rip as opposed to damaging the bag but if that's the biggest complaint it's not a big deal um, thank you so much again to Ravens Brew for sending me these delicious coffees I am already sweating this coffee is delicious and I'm gonna have a blast drinking these and sharing these with my followers and my friends and family. And um, yeah, if you wanna go check them out, again, their information will be down in the description box below. If you wanna check out their Instagrams, their website for more things, you can go buy your own delicious coffees. Um, I also really recommend the Dead Man's Reach. They didn't send that to me, but that was the first coffee of theirs that I tried. And it just changed my mind about how coffee should taste. And I just wanna encourage you guys to really look into the brands that you're buying coffee from. How do they source their beans? Where are they working? How do they help their communities? Um, you know, how do they create impact in how they're working and where they're working? So look into the brand, I really recommend them. And yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling here with my coffee, but uh, go check them out. Tell them Samantha sent you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go buy yourself a bag of Raven's Brew and go, go make some delicious coffee and have a beautiful day. I hope the new year is treating you well and I will see you all next time. Bye.